and in no time at all, you're going to see smoke. Where there's smoke, there's fire, right? I just put well, not always. A winter workshop hosted by Outdoor Chattanooga recently taught a group of outdoor enthusiasts that there is a right way and a wrong way to rub two sticks together. When you learn how to make fire by friction, all of a sudden you learn so much more about the natural world than you, you would through a lot of other skills. I think that's Joshua McKinley is a hardcore outdoorsman and a graduate of Tom Brown Jr.'s tracker school. He knows that it's very easy to just flick your bick to start a fire. But he said he learned at a very young age that there is something very special about knowing how to create flame the way it was done before there were bicks or even matches. His grandfather, an archaeologist, told him, Because no one can ever take this away from you. And once you have this, it's yours. You can do it at any time, in any place. You can produce what you need. And that was like, you know, the screw, you know, the light bulb screwed in and the light went on and it was like... McKinley shared the need to learn to identify trees and choose the right kind of sticks. Not just any stick will do. In fact, McKinley says if you're trained and prepared, flint and steel will start a fire almost as fast as a match. Very rapidly. Most who attended the free workshop, like Rachel Nidich, were interested in how to go old school. Uh, curiosity, and I'm an outdoor enthusiast, so I thought it'd be fun to teach my kids something, you know, different. They like to camp, and I try to keep it interesting. The highlight was watching McKinley put a well-crafted bow drill and spindle to work to create fire in less than two minutes. Keeping the bow nice and flat. I'm going to give it ten good and fast ones. All right. Got to see where we're at. The class was impressed, but realistic enough to know they were watching an expert at work. I think it's probably harder to do it on your own than it, what, what he made. He made it look simple. <laughs> Regardless, Nathan Stevens said he was looking forward to trying his newfound skill on his own. I, yeah, I am very. Um, me and my brother will probably be in charge of the fire next time. Outdoor Chattanooga hosts a variety of workshops and outdoor skills classes. Just visit their website at OutdoorChattanooga.com. For News Channel 9 Outdoors, I'm Richard Sims.